Good Wednesday morning. Saul, the enemy of the church, here in Acts chapter 9, gets saved. He's a Christian. And what is the first thing he experienced as a Christian? The life of the body of Christ. How cool is that? Two obscure Christians are sent to him. He meets them and immediately is helped by the strengthening that can come from the body, from other Christians. First, there's a man named Judas. That's all we know about him. Saul is led to his house, a house of a man he's never met before. While he is there, a man named Ananias is sent to minister to him. There's a joyful poetic irony in these two individuals that the Holy Spirit chose two men whose names are tainted elsewhere in the New Testament, Judas and Ananias. These names belong to two other people, Judas the betrayer of our Lord, and Ananias, the first Christian to manifest the deceit of hypocritical faith. Yet, here are two people bearing the exact same names that are honored and used of God. This is not a big theological deal, but I find solace in the redemptive work of the Holy Spirit. These men, they come and they minister to Paul. Ananias was understandably reluctant. Saul had been dragging people off to prison and putting them to death because they were Christians. So his hesitancy, it's understandable. But the Lord reassures him, telling him to go to Saul because Saul is praying. That's the first mark of a genuine Christian. He begins to pray. God says to Ananias, you don't need to be afraid of a man who prays. Go to, go to Saul because he's praying. Then Saul of Tarsus becomes the apostle Paul. But it all started with the joy of the body of Christ through these two other Christians who took the time to minister to him. Father, thank you for the amazing conversion story of Saul of Tarsus. Thank you for the impact his life has had upon the world as a result of this encounter with you on the Damascus Road. Thank you for this wonderful picture of one like Paul being included in the body of Christ. Teach me to include others with the same spirit of love. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow.